If you can't change your gender, then why can't you change your species? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Japanese man who spent 2 million yen, or the equivalent of 20,000 US dollars, to become a border collie. Now, there's <laughs> quite a few things. First of all, he's not even a border collie. He is a rough collie, like Lassie, okay? And the jokes are already funny talking about why would you become Lassie, not a pit bull, be a man. Anyway, I digress. The point is that this guy has a very elaborate costume that enables him to behave as a dog. Now, I don't know if he really identifies as that, but there's a whole YouTube page. This guy is a dog influencer as a human being. He's going on walks. Somebody got him on a leash, I suppose. He's rolling around, doing tricks, all that good stuff. Now, my question is, what is he really going to do as far as, I don't know, really wanting to be in character and be a dog? Because one thing about dogs that I know is that when they go on walks, they're lifting that hind leg up and they're going number two, number one, or a combination. So is he going to do the same thing? If he did... I would not be surprised with the way things are going. Now, before I go any further, we have um, we have video, we have articles. I will link to everything that I'm going to show you right now in the box. Uh, first, here is a quick article. You see this right here. Japanese man who spent $20,000 to become dog goes out for his first walk. And we're going to get to the walk in a minute. That's the guy right there. Okay, this is a man. All right. This, this, this is an actual human being in a dog costume, right? Uh, a, a short collie, Lassie right here. It's what you see right in front of your very eyes, all right? Here's another one. Man spends 22000 to become border collie again. He's a short collie, not a, not a, not a border collie or a, a rough collie. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's the guy right there trying to do tricks and whatnot, okay? Um, now we got pictures rolling around. All kind of stuff. All right. R ridiculousness. Hold on. Matter of fact, let's play this. We don't need to sound right here. So his lifelong fantasy was to transform into an animal. All right. Now, okay. We got let's have a little bit of sound for the music. So he, he's doing tricks. He's doing all types of stuff. Okay. Now, look, sir, if I see you out on the street, I'm not going to be trying to pet you. I, I'm not, you're not going to be putting your paw in my hand. I'm not saying good boy. I'm not throwing you no doggy treat. <clears throat> and if you lift your leg up on me, I will assault you. It is what it is. <laughs> Do not lift your leg up on me and call yourself going number one or number two or a combination. You are a human being. Don't do it. But I digress. There is a fuller version of the video right there we're going to get to in a minute from this guy's YouTube page. I guess he's a dog influencer, and there's some stuff. Look, okay, so we have some pictures right here. You see the, the close-up right there of the guy's face. A um, little sign that says, I'm a human. Okay, all kind of just ridiculousness. There we go. Right there. Okay, going for a walk. This, this is a human being. This is a real person hunched over. In a dog costume, an elaborate dog costume. All right. Other dogs were freaking out. Let's get to the video. Let's let's scoot back a little bit here. So dogs and people's reactions to seeing a realistic dog costume. The dogs are kind of freaking out a little bit. All right. So this guy, uh, quote unquote, became a collie, fulfilling a dream he had since he was a little child to, be to become an animal. Why are we why are we making all these noises? I'm not I'm not I'm not saying good boy to no fully grown man. I'm not sure how old this guy is or anything like that. I've not seen a picture. I've not seen a picture of the guy in the costume. All right. But this this is what's happening here. So here's here's a dog coming up on him. I'm gonna turn the sound down. Now the dog is freaking. 
the dog went up on him like, okay, is this, is this my cousin? Is this my brother or something? But no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm smelling uh, top ramen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm smelling miso soup. I'm not smelling uh, doggy treats. That's not what I should be smelling right now. So it ain't really right. Even that they came up with a, a human hand in the paw, it's nuts. It, it's, it's totally nuts. But yo, but but check it, but check it out. Are we surprised at what's going on here? Again, if you could if you could become a different gender, why not a different species? Why can't I identify as whatever I want? Why can't I identify as a border collie, although I'm a human being and my costume is of a, a rough collie? Why can't I identify as Lassie? Right? I've said it before. It's like, look, people are gonna identify as whatever they want. They're gonna identify as a roll of toilet paper, an Xbox controller, the air beneath your wings. They're going to identify as depression. They're going to identify as glee, happiness, whatever they want. Because in 2023, you can't tell somebody that they can't be whatever they want. So now we got more dogs freaking out. The people entertaining it are the problem. Like, that's, that's the issue, you know. If someone's going through delusion or they're just being weird and you play along with it, then they think that it's all right. If they think it's okay. <laughs> so they don't, they, they live in this kind of false sense of reality. And then those who don't play along are the bullies. They're, they're the bad people. If I see this fully grown man, okay, a uh, Japanese guy, Kanichiwa, Arigato, all that good stuff, talking about I'm a border collie. Meanwhile, you are a fully grown man in a rough collie costume outfit if i don't play along then i'm the bad guy look at this this is crazy nah this this is nuts i'm not really sure where they are if, they, if they're in japan or what I, th I think they're in japan i see the japanese signs yeah uh, this 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 is this is a mess. This this is a complete mess. They waving at him and stuff like that. Alright. <laughs> Yo, totally, totally crazy. Okay, let's see if they show more here. I want to see this particular person get out of the costume because at a certain point, you gotta live like a regular human. How are you gonna be able to eat? Shower, restroom, like do normal human stuff. Obviously, you're not going to be in the costume 24-7. I want to see the guy come out of the costume and do regular stuff. All right. So, yeah, that that's that. Um, If I have any pictures or video of the guy in his regular everyday outfit, I'll throw that right here on the screen or in the box. But that's pretty much what it is. The man spent... 2 million yen, some say that's like 14,000, some say 22,000, regardless of how much money it is, it's a lot of money, okay, the average normie cannot spend that much money for a costume to walk around the streets of Japan and pretend to be a dog, but that's where we are nowadays, okay, but this shouldn't be a surprise, I mean, we got furries here in the US, we got furries, so what's the next step, all right, you could just be a, a complete dog, matter of fact, have you seen that picture from the uh, guys in the military? I'm not quite sure what they were, if these were generals or other high-ranking people, but they had on, it was at least two of them, they had on um, dog masks, right? You could still see their uniform, which is crazy, but they had on like a dog mask. Now, that was clearly some, some freaky stuff, and it could be the same kind of thing going on here with my man trying to be the rough collie. It, it could be the same thing going on, I presume, because... If you're rolling around on the ground trying to get called good boy and trying to get your belly rubbed, you know, at a certain point, it's like, all right, what is the actual purpose? Do you just love collies and you want to become one? Or are you trying to get touched in a certain way that you normally wouldn't get touched as a human being? I don't really know. I can't call it, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this fully adult male quote unquote, becoming a rough collie, a dog and rolling around doing tricks, going on walks, all that good stuff. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is ridiculous, but not surprising. Again, 
If you could become a different gender, you can wear these furry outfits, you can identify as whatever you want, whenever you want, then why not identify as a dog? You know what I want to do? I want to put on a dinosaur outfit and identify as a living fossil. I want to be a T-Rex, the short arms and everything. And if you say I'm not a T-Rex, then you're a bigot, all right? I want to be a miniature T-Rex. I want to be a T-Rex at my height right now. All they they were much taller. If you say I'm not a T-Rex, if you want to contradict how I feel about myself, that means you're a bigot. That's pretty much where we are in 2023. This is why I do not participate in these games. I'm not playing games, sir. I know you're a I know you're a human being in a dog outfit. I'm not gonna say good boy. I'm not gonna touch you. And don't you dare lift that leg up on me because it's not gonna go well at the end. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I'm gonna say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. And subscribe. Peace.